Being read to filth isn't as messy as it might sound, and it doesn't involve an actual book. But it is all about words, and sometimes it's a real page-turner of an experience. If you've ever seen a scene in a movie or watched a show where someone is calling out another's flaws and inner secrets, pulled right from the depths of their hidden self, that's basically it. They're being read. But then, when the read is so precise, so cutting and so undeniably true that it leaves the person utterly exposed, they're not just being read, they're being read to filth. This term has its roots firmly planted in drag culture, a culture rich in linguistic creativity. It's a form of raw, often humorous critique that lays bare the very essence of the individual. It can be brutal, it can be done with a smile, but it always has a sting. Imagine you stroll into your favorite coffee spot in Portland, let's call it Stumptown Java Junction, brimming with the confidence of a Blazers fan in the 90s. Your friends are there, you greet them, and then one, with a smirk and a twinkle in their eye, starts in on you. They pick apart your fashion sense, noting how your flannel shirt is so authentically unauthentic, it belongs in a 90s grunge band revival. They move on to your predictable order of an oat milk latte with two shots and how it's as original as a Portlandia rerun. They finish off with a playful jab at how you say you're into hiking, but your boots are cleaner than the kitchen at Pock Pock. Each observation is a scalpel-sharp truth that's hard to shake because it's so on the nose. By the end, the whole table is roaring with laughter, including you, hopefully, because there's an art to this kind of honesty, and your friend is practically Picasso. Being read to filth can be a test of one's ability to not take oneself too seriously. It requires being able to laugh at the reflection shown to you. It's one of those things that's part of the spice of life and keeps us humble, or at least entertained. So next time someone reads you to filth, remember, it's just another chapter in the vivid story of your life. And who doesn't love a story that includes a little bit of roasting? Just make sure to have a witty comeback ready, or be prepared to take it with a good-natured roll of the eyes. After all, we're all just characters in this grand, occasionally absurd narrative called life.